Hi. I recently promised a thrilling video and blog on bootlegs crimp ferals. Now, I'd never heard of these things before. And uh, I've been poking bits of wire into screw terminals since I was a kid, one way or another, I'm sure. And so um, when I did a, uh, an alarm panel install for a friend a few months ago, I was poking bits of wires into screw terminals. So very much like this. Screw terminals, quick wire and screw terminals. Now, one of the problems here is often there's a alarm panel side here, so you can't necessarily see where you're poking it. So it can be a bit... Oh look, it's done it for me already. I've now got lots of wire already stray. And this is one of the problems. Just getting in the right hole, not having the wire, even though I twisted this, not having the wire come untwisted and go everywhere, and um, going in properly. The, these, these are good quality screw terminals, it's got a little metal tag on the back. But if you've used them before, you have to sort of poke something in there, which you can't get to, to, to lift the tag up a bit so you can poke the wire in. So actually, I was cursing by the end of the day. I was cursing screw terminals. I had, right. Of course, there are other sorts of screw terminals, big ones like this, huge, great things. And of course, little ones like this, um, chocolate blocks, these sorts of things are called because you can chop them down into different size connectors. But they all work in much the same way, um, a barrel, and you poke wires in and do up the screw, so straightforward. So what could be better? Well, someone suggested bootlace screw ferals. And um, like I said, I've not heard of them, but apparently they're a thing. Um, they're very common. The, the, the electrical wholesaler down the road sells bootlace crimp ferals. Um, you can buy them from RS and Far Farnell and wherever. So I ordered some from RS. They didn't ship them uh, until a day later, which was rather annoying, but I did order some. Um, and I ordered this, which is a selection box of bootlace crimp ferals. And you'll see there's different colours. Um, and we've actually got in here 0.5mm square, 0.75mm square, 1mm square, 1.5mm square, and 2.5mm square. So we've got quite a selection, and the colour coding is based on the size, except like most standards there's a lot to choose from. There's German colour codes and French colour codes, so the colours might not be consistent, but um, you get the idea. So that's a selection of bootleg screen fails, and I bought a whole bag of the things, and this is how they work. So this is what the fellow looks like. It's got a little plastic shoulder and a tube, and you basically poke it on the end of the wire which is incredibly easy. That was a doddle. Now, when I ordered from RS, I ordered the crimp tool that they recommend, this one. RS part 3992031. And it's a little bit weird. It wasn't what I was expecting, because it sort of crimps flat at 90 degree angles, uh, alternating along the, the crimp itself. It's weird. Now, if you actually crimp with this, It certainly crimps. Sometimes a little difficult to get out. But you will see it is alternating 90 degree flattening. Um, now, we've got wire sticking out the end. You can cut it short to fit in your screw terminals. But it's certainly well crimped. Can't deny that. But it's, it's a lot weaker than you'd expect. In fact, even getting it out of the crimp, you can end up snapping it like that. Now that's still attached because there's a wire down the middle and the crimp's still well attached to the wire. So it'll make good contact. But now when you're poking it into a screw hole, it's not ideal. It's, it's you know, so not good. And you try and put two of those in a screw hole, they're gonna clash with each other. That's never gonna work. So, um, I carried on with the install anyway. I thought give it a try. And at the end of the day, even though they're a bit odd, the way the crimp worked, Using the fells, I was really pleased with. It was really easy. Uh, much easier than poking wires in. But since then, I thought, that's a weird crimp. I'll order a different crimp. So let's have a look at a different crimp tool. So this time, we have a different maker crimp tool. It says 901435 is the part number. Um, and it's got, a, it's got a bit at the end that can work sideways or face on, which is nice. And uh, when you crimp with this one, you get something different. So now you can probably make out 
we have crimp that side, ridge that side. That isn't going to bend. That's you know it's, it's flattened, but that is structurally solid. That's not going to snap. Again, we can cut it down to size slightly. The screw channel, and we can fit that in the screw channel and do it up with ease. And that is really solid now. No stray strands insulated. I was a little surprised with these actually. Um, I would have thought someone did a heat shrink version. So you could heat shrink that down to the, you know, but apparently not. I've Googled everywhere. It seemed like an obvious thing to do, but certainly not. So that's how they work, and they're really simple. Um, obviously, if you want to put two wires in, especially with that shoulder, um, it's, it's going to be tricky. So what you actually do is you get double ferrules, and these are designed to take two wires. So I've got two wires. There's one twisted. There's another one. And I get a double crimp ferrule this time. Now the double ferrule is wider, it's bigger cylinder because it's going to take two wires. And it's wider, but you just shove the two wires in there. It really is as simple as that. Just like that. And then you use your decent crimp tool. And that's now nicely crimped, flat. Chop it down to size if it's a bit long. You, you get them in different lengths, but this is just the size I've got. And that will go in a screw terminal really nicely. Because it's nice and flat. Fits in really well there, as you can see. And we just screw it up. Look at that. That is, that is solid. That's not going anywhere. Nicely crimped. No stray strands. Perfect. So, I'm actually really pleased with these bootlace crimp ferrules. And I think I will use them in future. They are... Excellent, and I'm going to use them whenever I do anything with screw terminals. So, what can I say? Hope that was useful.